Hello? Hello? Hey, tell me why I'm in here. Look at me. No, 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 no. Get that heart rate. The body of Donna Hawthorne was discovered. The crime suspect, Joseph Doucette, the victim's former husband and father of the surviving child. father's been missing for 20 years. If I could somehow bring him here, do you think you could forgive him? I could try. Oh, I say, oh boy, how are you today? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me to think that when you heard I, I, that I did not. <laughs> never, never thought that. <laughs> you, as much as you love that old... I, I, hey, man, I love that expression. Yeah, I, I do love that. But I didn't think, oh boy. Yeah. Oh, I say, old boy, how are you today? Hammer always comes to mind whenever right? somebody says, old, old, old boy now these days. Yeah. Spike Lee got that hammer. <laughs> yeah, I know. The one thing he got from the original, yes. Yes, well, there's a lot of things that he got from the original, mm-hmm. which... Makes me a little bit confused about this movie because I like the first film. Oh yeah, there's it's nothing... a great movie. Yeah, but those. How, how many are there, by the way? Well, Small... there's okay. There's there's th- there's two movies and one comic book. Right. So oh, okay. you have the original South Korean film. Okay. You got this remake, and then a lot of people don't know that this is based on the uh, a manga. I guess a Japanese comic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In fact. Oh, okay. I thought it was sequels to Old Boy and stuff. No. Okay. In, in, in fact, let me lay some, let me drop some knowledge. Drop, on drop, you yeah, real drop quick. it. Drop it. Drop it like you. a hammer. Drop, 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 <laughs> right drop that head. hammer. <laughs> so there was a time when Spielberg was actually attached to this, and he was supposed to do this with Will Smith. Now, y'all complain about Oh, that's right. It was See, supposed to be Will Smith. Everybody's like going crazy about Spike Lee. They were going to get Mr. Fourth of July himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and apparently, it's Independence Day. And apparently, this, so this is a story about revenge. Mm-hmm. Apparently, when Spielberg was going to cast Will Smith, he was getting revenge on aliens. <laughs> 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 but no, th- so he was going to do this. And a lot of people, well, they didn't say anything about it once Spike Lee got it because mm-hmm. no, nobody ever asked, well, how come Spielberg never went through with it? They just mm-hmm. assumed that it was just too crazy for him. Right. But what happened was the publisher of the comic was suing the Korean company that made the movie because they didn't get the comic's permission. Oh. oh wow. So that's why you never saw the Spielberg version of it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Apparently. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, just, I just figured it's one of these things where Will Smith was like, yeah, I'll work with Spielberg. Let me read the script. Oh, wait, this character's an asshole. Oh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, my brand can't be tarnished. Yeah. Can have, <laughs> oh, thank you. Can the yeah. twist be that I'm hanging out with my son? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I yeah, man. I, I, I'll do it as long as you can yeah. find a part for Jaden in here. Yeah, yeah. I know. We gotta get Jaden in here. Oh, Willow. <laughs> Either one of them will work. Man, I tell you what, if they made Those this movie, yeah. if they made this movie with, with, with Will Smith and Willow, <laughs> it'd be the greatest movie of all time. That shit, it'd be funny. If Spielberg tricked them up when they making that movie. Yeah. If you watch the movie, you know what we're talking about. Like, everybody like listen to the review, like, what y'all laughing about? Uh, Go watch the movie. Well, yeah. Either one of them. Right. You know yeah. what we're talking about. But even with Spike Lee getting this, man, the the South Korean film d- directed by, now tell me if I'm right, co-host uh-huh. Park Chan-wook. That's oh. right. You That's sure you got correct. all three of those in the right order? Yes. I don't know. Is That's that, why is I that, Is that Pan Chuk Wok? Exactly. I don't know if I just ordered a dish or something. <laughs> Park's in there. Yeah, but the, <laughs> the, the, the Wook. Park, 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 rec- park reaction. <laughs> recreation. <laughs> but <laughs> Cuckoo Kachu. <laughs> Charlie. Well, park Charlie. <laughs> but... No, this is this is a straight up Spike Lee joint, and what uh-huh. makes this different from the South Korean original is that it's it's hard to say because, and Jesus, I wish you had seen this co-host because you love uh, Old Boy. I, I I really do love it, uh, but apparently this was a uh, one of those snooty. Uh, Critics Association uh, films that only the that, critic. If you were part of the Critics oh. Association, you were the only ones allowed, and I'm not part of that group. You weren't privileged <laughs> yeah, to you know. know. I, 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 and before he makes it seem like that group won't let him in, he he simply won't apply. It's <laughs> 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 that's, that's like a membership package waiting on him that's got cobwebs. He's like, no, I don't do well, it. I see I, that I, yeah. ten page membership <laughs> bullshit, and I was like, I didn't have to do <laughs> like, this to, to join Blockbuster. You, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> they were begging me to join their membership. Sorry, but the co-host don't read. Yeah. Look Look at where Blockbuster is right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what is this, the, the new Hunger Games book? What you can this? join the Austin's Critics Association, but you're always talking about, 
Man, I, I'm real. Yeah, you're right. I ain't all about that I shit. See, I see these movies with the people. Yeah. Yeah. Keep my shit real. Yeah. Yeah. And anyway, you know, yeah. well, I wouldn't vouch for you anyway. <laughs> I know you Corey, do you know this man? No, yeah. I do not. Yeah. I don't yeah. associate with such a riffraff. But, I know. Hey, Corey, what about me? Hey, yeah. Corey. Yes, what about you, sir? Yeah. Flip your nickel and send you on your way. <laughs> Listen, man, I, the thing, the, the reason why I wish you had actually seen this is mm-hmm. because you probably know this movie better than I do. Now, yeah. I, I actually have the, the movie, and I've seen it a few times mm. but it's been years oh, yeah. since i've watched it mm-hmm. and that's the same for me it's been so long since yeah. i saw it yeah. and so what i'm thinking is and maybe this will bring back something to you i do remember the the original movie being crazy but there's mm-hmm. certain things about this film i would say that it's there are certain parts of it that are over the top in mm-hmm. ways that the original wasn't mm-hmm. and then there are certain ways that the the original was somehow just really screwy in ways that this movie isn't. And whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, we'll get into in a little while. Okay. Yeah. But for those of you who haven't seen it, this particular movie starts out with Josh Brolin. He plays a guy named Joe Doucette, who he's a, he's an average. Hey, oh, oh, I thought it was um, Joe Douchebag. Douchebag, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, I mean, this guy is such an asshole, man, mm-hmm. that he will sit at, he'll actually sit with somebody, a client, seal the deal, but fuck it up because the client <laughs> goes to the bathroom and he'll hit on his wife. <laughs> I mean, the guy, and they, and by the way, you know the guy just went to go take a piss. Yeah. He's, he's still hitting on a chick longer than five minutes, you know, so the guy's back looking at him while he's doing it. Right. But So this is already starting out differently from, from the... It is. Well, well, how, well, how did it start with the original? The guy was not a bad guy in the original. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. okay, that's well, what I thought. Well, you see, you, see him, uh, you see him at a... I guess that he's being held at a police station because he's drunk. Yeah. Okay. He's just, yeah, he's going crazy just just uh, uh, fucking up shit in the police station but yeah i mean you 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 don't really get a sense of what he does for a but living. this here no they, yeah no he, they, he seems to be i don't know if he's an ad exec or or, or uh what do you call it a uh, agent or something yeah but yeah he's a, he's a drunk he it opens where he's he's got a, like a regular soft drink and he's stopped by alley to just pour a half bottle of a gin into it uh, and then goes to work Everybody, you can see by their expression, they know how he is. But he's a he's a bullshit artist. He talks a lot, and it's just like his boss is telling, him like, "All right, listen, we got the big client coming in. You taking him out? Mm-hmm. You you going you got to seal this now. Mm-hmm. I know you can do it, yeah, because you've been good in the past. You've been done, doing. But we're it. at the point now. But if you don't do it this time, we, my business is gonna fall. Yeah, we're at the point where this guy has actually crossed over. Mm-hmm. He's at yeah. the tipping point. He's crossed over. So at this point, he fucks up a an ad sale. Mm-hmm. He wondering the, the the streets drunk because mm-hmm. he knows he's fucked up and he's right. feeling sorry for himself and and so we expect that somebody's out to get this guy mm-hmm. and sure enough he ends up going home with some chick waking up but he's waking up in what looks like a, a at first a hotel room cheap now, hotel room that, but that, that's happened to all of us but that, yeah that's <laughs> happened to me all the time but usually when i wake up in a cheap hotel room with some strange chick mm-hmm. i can usually get out right. if i'm not thrown out <laughs> <by the> time, <laughs> but here he tries to open the door. Mm-hmm. He can't leave. Door's locked. They slide him food under the uh, uh, under the door. Right. They give him everything he needs to survive and, mm-hmm. and clean himself and groom himself. Except he can just not ever leave. Okay, you're thinking, all right, we'll find out what's happening in a day or two. No, mm-hmm. he's stuck in there for 20 years. So the the gist of the story, much like the original, is that right. when he gets out, he has to go and find out what the mystery is of his imprisonment. And when he does finally find out who does it, why did they do it? Mm-hmm. And Josh Brolin, I'll tell you something. I always like a movie where you have a guy who starts out. They do a good job at this. Josh Brolin is looking at himself in the mirror. He's all flabby. He's got, he's got a gut. Mm-hmm. You know, he's been drinking a little bit. He's in, 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 not really eating the best things, but when you got 20 years of sitting in the room and do nothing, you, mm-hmm. well, you're going to turn into Batman. That's <laughs> yeah. what, you know? Did he have his TV at least? Yeah. He had a TV. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, matter of fact, the, the TV plays an important role because yeah. as he's watching TV, there's a news story about how his uh, ex-wife has been um, murdered and raped, mm-hmm. um, and probably in that order, and he's the number one suspect. <laughs> yeah, they're okay. like, you know, we we, we got a manhunt for this guy who that- killed his wife. And he's like, what? No, I've been oh. here. Now that's, uh, that's- I must get vengeance. So okay, he's working out and everything. That's true to the original. And All they right. do a great job at showing him. Be- I mean, it's it's Josh Brolin. Mm-hmm. He's who is that's him being flabby. Yeah, that's him with no tone. And then. He actually worked out after that, and they do a good job at convincing you that this guy did really become somewhat cut to go out and do this mission cool. that he has to do. They great job at that. In yeah. fact, I would say that it convinces me that Josh Brolin probably should have been 
Batman in that Batman versus Superman mm-hmm. movie. Well, yeah. what they don't do a good job of is convincing you that 20 years has passed. Because <laughs> b- because I swear to God, I mean, yeah, they tell you it's been 20 years, but you look at him, it's like he looks the same. I mean, yeah, his body is he doesn't he's not as flabby, mm-hmm. but everybody like Michael Imperioli plays his his best friend from 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 prep school. Mm-hmm. And you see him the night before he, Josh Brolin goes into the, you know, the the motel prison. And then 20 years later, when he comes out, Mike Imperioli doesn't recognize him. I'm like, why not? Both of y'all look exactly, exactly the, the same, same. Yeah. as you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. You Over 20 yeah. years, you're going to at least have like a few gray hairs. Maybe your oh, hair yeah. is a little bit longer than it was. Something. I- I'm sorry. Putting a beard on somebody and some long hair, that don't, that don't mean <laughs> no. that you aged for 20 years. And that is a flaw in the movie because, all right, you know what? I probably could have had Josh Brolin. I probably could have said, all right, you know what? You drank a lot. You th- you one of those guys who drank so much 20 years ago that you look old. Right. <laughs> but now, 20 years later, you look the exact same. I could have said, all right, I'll give you that. But when he sees Michael Imperioli, I'm like, yeah. both you motherfuckers look the same. Exactly. Don't y'all have a makeup crew well, or that's, something? That, here? that was kind of the cool thing about the original because when you see the original, it's almost like that character is played, the, the guy who's trapped in that hotel, is almost played by two separate people. Yeah. Because, like, the transformation is amazing because, you know, you, you do see, like, he looks like – He's he's on the verge of death because number one he's been in a room he hasn't been outside he hasn't gotten any sun right and I mean just just yeah he looked he looked like he aged like fifty years you know yeah well but that's yeah. why you can buy that premise and feel kind of sim- sympathetic towards this and thing. you're right about these, that. these guys look like they age two weeks two because matter of fact I was sitting there and I was like okay by all rights he should be sixty years old right now yeah you they can do look they can do stuff with makeup man mm-hmm. like like ex- you're exactly right. It's hard to tell what the age difference is. 20 years? Mm-hmm. They should have put some prosthetics on this guy. It would have been cool if he was like an old 60-year-old guy yeah. going mm-hmm. out there and kicking ass. Yeah. But he doesn't. He looks like, a, you know, I, granted, a haggard kind of 45, 50 years old, but mm-hmm. he still looks like he's not the, the appropriate age. <laughs> he looked like he could still jump in the Batman suit and be all right. Exactly. You, you yeah. Know yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, man. Seriously. You read them? You read my letters? You read them right. Who are you? Your friend Chucky called me because you were in really bad shape. Well, I'm all right now, so I can get out of here. No, you're far from all right. What are you doing here? I apologize for reading your letters. You didn't call the police? No, I didn't. Why? I believe you. Why? I uh, believe that you've been locked up for a long time. Okay. Don't touch me. What if I thought you knew too much, huh? Reading my letters. What if I felt like I needed to kill you right now? Then I suppose I'd be dead. But I, I, the other thing that... Here's the big deal. Let me just jump to what people are going to be asking. Right. If I've seen the original, do I need to watch this one? And sadly, I'm going to say no. Mm-hmm. I mean, I will even say don't even watch this one because if you're that big a fan of the original... It's gonna piss you off. Oh yeah. It's called, it's, from what I can remember, there's the movie, the 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 Korean version does it better, mm-hmm. and this is and, and this hits those notes of the original film, but not in a way that's gonna make a big difference to you. Now, if you're somebody who you don't have a cool video store in your town, you can't stream it somewhere. <laughs> mm-hmm. You heard about this movie, but you can't find it anywhere. Or you can't stand to read subtitles. Or you can't read. Period. <laughs> yeah. You know, a literate motherfucker. You <laughs> then I would say go ahead. And watch it, but the the problem with me saying that this is more over the top than the original, there were certain things that the the original was notorious for. And there's mm-hmm. a for example, there's an infamous octopus eating scene mm-hmm. in the original. I, I would say some of the characters they are they're out there, mm-hmm. they're exaggerated characters. What I happen to act or look that way. Here you got now you got some things. Elizabeth Olsen. Mm-hmm. Pretty well grounded. Then uh-huh. she plays you. You. She plays a, a, a uh, young girl who befriends Josh Brolin in this, mm-hmm. and becomes his confidant and helps him try to figure out his mystery. She's pretty well grounded in the movie. She's one of the few. Mm. Now you got Samuel Jackson who comes in here. 
who's looking like some shit like Leon said looks like some shit out of an anime. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Is he looking like he did in the spirit? <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, that's exactly what I thought of. Oh, oh no. Except he don't look like a Nazi, a, a Nazi transvestite. Do you remember that in the spirit? No. I'm, trying, I'm always trying to forget that fucking movie. But, yeah, that was the only memorable thing, but not in a good way about that. Samuel thing. Jackson just lets people play Mr. Potato Head with him these days. <laughs> he's, got, yeah. he's got a bald head. You know, he's got, he's got, he, Maybe he comes with his own trunk or stuff. He's like, yeah. you, you know, I haven't worn this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, wait, wait, tell me what you need, boys. <laughs> Welcome to Samuel Jackson's Halloween world. You know, <laughs> Jack the Savior with Samuel Jackson. But, but you know, he in every movie, I got to give it to Samuel Jackson. I mean, what do you think, man? Samuel Jackson looks like a guy who just lets people have fun with him. He just goes to the wardrobe department and say, mm-hmm. put that on me. <laughs> you know what? Cool. Let me play <laughs> now. Right the, the, the funny thing is, when he shows up dressed all crazy like he is, yeah. I was like, oh, no. Mm-hmm. But. Actually, what he does, I thought he was pretty good at it. I was, it, like, it's yeah, I was like, you know what? If he if he wasn't dressed like that so distractingly, I wouldn't have thought of that. I'd be like, oh, damn, he was one of my favorite parts does of this. Does it serve the character as far as what, what they're it does. trying to get yeah, across? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I, now I'm curious, like, who who he's actually playing. But, uh, I mean, maybe I don't I don't, I don't want to lead into anything that could get something away. You just, you just watch it. But whatever mm-hmm. his character plays, it's appropriate to the eccentric to, to the central na- na- uh, uh, nature of mm-hmm. his personality okay. and the job that he has to do. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, okay, you could take that. Uh-huh. He in Samuel Jackson, second of all, he's so man, he's he's a cartoon character himself mm-hmm. sometimes in the nicest way that I, mm-hmm. I mean as a compliment that uh-huh. he can embrace that. Now, Charlotte Copley is the character that I had a problem with because oh. he's just a uh, he's one of the most goofy James Bond villains that you will ever see. Oh, really? And I and if I am a, if Again, if memory serves correct, I don't remember the character that he played in the original being as crazy or just exaggerated as he is in this. Now, see, I, I, this is where you and I split off because while it's been a while since I watched it, I remember when I got to the end of that movie, I was kind of taken. I thought that character was like, okay, this character was definitely designed by anime and came off as that, that over the top super villain type character and also you know with both of these movies but more so the original when it got to the revelation of why all this was happening i was just felt like that's what this is about mm-hmm. i mean like you know this 20 year imprisonment and all this yeah. like like the more stuff that that happens it's almost like, like like you have to reach a balance like if you're going to do all this shit in the beginning there has to be something on the other side that balances that you know, it's like wait this is why you did it and i completely understand that motivation and when it comes to it, it's like i sort of understand the motivation but the effort you put into this it does not. It doesn't. It, it, the balance sheet didn't come up. Well, even. there's something to be said about if if you want to think about the psychology of why the person did what they did. I mean, because they, I thought they did a a perfect job of explaining that in the original, where regardless if it's a pebble or a rock, they all sink, and that kind of gives you, that kind of gave gave you an idea of his thought process about you know what was going on and, and why these things happened. I thought, wow, that's that's a great explanation. That's all I need to know, and that's it. So I, you know, but yeah, I mean. With this movie, though, what I want to know is, like, the the fact that uh, you keep saying, Corey, that it gets over the top. Does it get so over the top that it kind of loses focus on what this whole story is about so much so that the over the, the, it being over the top, it kind of just, you know, it takes over the film more so than the actual story itself? I wouldn't think so. No, I would, I, I would only say that for people who don't know this movie, mm-hmm. they might be taken aback just how crazy this shit is Mm -hmm. i mean that term gonzo really applies to this film here because Mm -hmm. like i said you have the exaggerated characters of it it's it's almost this movie is almost a cartoon a very dark cartoon itself Mm -hmm. you have these exaggerated characters and then you have the action which i I will say that spike lee he captures the the, that one scene in the movie that Mm -hmm. very famous scene where long shot that that one tracking that Mm -hmm. one continuous tracking shot where uh you you had the original character in the movie who just takes out a whole hallway of villains with a with a hammer Mm -hmm. you get that here and i would say he does it well Mm -hmm. i mean it's mimicry but if you're gonna do it he i mean yeah he 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 did that well i I thought they did it just a little bit better in in repo men where everybody was complaining about it being a (laughs) ripoff but there was something in that scene that i noticed and once i noticed it, i couldn't stop noticing it so it's one guy fighting a bunch of dudes walking down that that little that tunnel yeah close in which is a hallway yeah yeah, hallway Mm -hmm. uh what I noticed, yeah, like, very important. You know that difference yeah. is, is that there's like one or two, especially one of the henchmen who had a stick, who was always swinging it way far away. It's like he was there to like show, like, oh, all these guys are swinging, but 
he was never connected. He was always almost going out of his way not to hit Josh. Well, Brolin. he was scared. <laughs> Josh Brolin had a hammer. He just had a stick. <laughs> I, I, think mean, a, I think a hammer beats a stick. Yeah, no, watch, no. watch, yeah, watch, watch yes. the original. Yes. You'll see guys who are just like they, they, they're scared. They don't know what to do when they see this guy just. But, taking but, but out one out. hammer doesn't beat ten guys. I'm like, oh, listen, all y'all fall on him, and, and it's, 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 it's over. Go to the kitchen and get that hammer all for right, me. No and, problem. And give Leon that stick back there. Okay, fine. Give me a fight. Give me that stick and give me nine more guys with sticks and see how long it lasts. Well, I always thought I always thought those guys were more worried about what part of the hammer they were going to actually get hit with. Yeah, exactly. This guy was just swinging like, like there's a point where he was he was doing tricks on his own. He wasn't even focusing on and Josh Brolin. And don't compare it to what I would do. If I if I saw nine of you with a with a with sticks and I just had a hammer, I'd throw the hammer stick off right. <laughs> that scene wouldn't even happen. That's like I'd be out the. I'd be running down the hallway. Like, way, fuck that. This shit ain't that important. <laughs> Until I ran to a door that was locked. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, "Hey, buddy, let's team up so we can find a way out of here." <laughs> nah, you know, I mean, he does that well, man. Mm-hmm. And, he, and it, like I said, it's mimicry, but it's done well. Uh-huh. But uh, the, the my problem is that there's certain the, the story in the original was the one that was that was just kind of crazy. I said, mm-hmm. "All right, I can take that." Yeah. And I never read the comic. I heard the comic is even is a little more is is different. But mm-hmm. with this, is just the characters. Maybe because they're speaking English. I don't mm-hmm. know. Maybe mm. they, maybe maybe I missed something because you and I apparently saw two different things because mm-hmm. I because you were saying like you thought one character was over the top and I and I didn't see it that way but I, I you know when, with me looking at the characters in this I'm that's what I'm saying I'm thinking all right this this goes from intense mm-hmm. to almost laughable for me oh. and and I don't even know if that's a bad thing I mean I I don't think that's the movie's purpose to be the, as laughable but whenever Charlotte Copley comes on. Mm-hmm. I can't help but start giggling, man. He's uh-huh. just so dr- over dramatic. Okay, for some reason I'm really, and I don't know why this is in my head right now, but but hearing this review, I, I got Punisher. Uh, what is it? The last <laughs> one they did, Punisher uh, Warzone. War, war, yeah, uh, war, war, I think yeah, Warzone. Warzone. Yeah. yeah, Punisher Warzone in my head, where the main actor seems like the only one who's grounded in any kind of reality. The guy no. who played the Punisher, but the villains were very cartoonish. And yet the violence was so over the top no. that it does have no, that. No, no, no. It's not like that. No, not, no, no, like, no it's Special not like War Zone, that. like the violence is over the top to the point where it's silly. Mm-hmm. And like either you'll get into it or you giggle. And this isn't that. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't think there's any any parts of it no. where you like, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's just, but it does, like it goes towards cartoonish, but it's not firmly rooted in it. It's yeah. not like I'm just watching a big violent cartoon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of grounded characters. Even, even the characters we're saying are over the top. They are grounded somewhat. Uh, Charlotte C- Copley, uh, there's, I mean, like, I don't know, like seeing him in, uh, what was the last movie? Uh, uh, Elysium. Elysium. Yeah, I'm just like, okay, I think this guy, he just doesn't, he doesn't know subtlety. I, I think maybe he's just not that good of an actor, but we just like seeing him. And, and to pull off what he had to do, it takes a really good actor to pull that off. And maybe he's just not there for it. I wish they had who they were originally going to cast, and you would love this. Who? It was going to be Kristen Bale. Oh no oh, shit. Then it was well, be well, of course he was going to. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, he was like, oh shit. shit. Oh. 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 Batman versus Batman. Yeah. <laughs> what could have been? Well, you know what? Tell me, I mean, you tell me what you think, man, because, because this is how I feel. And maybe I can just sum, sum it up right here because I don't really don't want to repeat mm-hmm. myself. Sure. The, I feel, and this is a little biased on my part, I mm-hmm. think a lot of critics are going to see this and being a critic, they're going to be the ones who saw the original. Mm-hmm. Right. And a lot of them are going to give this movie a bad review because they already have that going in that this is not as good as the original. And it's not. Mm-hmm. But if, I think that the movie, this is, it's, if, if regular audiences go see this, it's not so silly that they're not going to be squirming and feeling easy oh, yeah. watching this. I mean, it's, it's an intense film, man. It's one of, it's Spike Lee's. It's, I would recommend this movie to a person who hasn't seen the original because mm-hmm. it's one of Spike Lee's most it's it's one of his most artistic mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's one of his most violent movies mm-hmm. i mean this is the most violent thing that i've ever seen him do and in a way i thought well shit yeah go spike you know as long <laughs> you know, as as long as angry little motherfucker <laughs> as long as that conclusion you know really does stick with you like like the original one it does i, I imagine it that's did, such a it, strong it ending for this movie that yeah. that it will and that's why i'm thinking audiences are going to walk out of here if you it's going to be two different types of people mm-hmm. it's going to be those people who Going to walk out saying, well, that wasn't as good as the original. Okay, yeah, get unnecessary. Let, let it, get, get over yourself. Yeah, mm-hmm. let it go. But though, but for the for other people, they're going to walk out and they're going to say, yeah, I don't know what to think about. I don't know if I liked it, or didn't like it, mm-hmm. but that movie definitely is going to stick with me for a little while. Mm-hmm. It disturbed the fuck out of me, mm-hmm. and 
I recommend it for that. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm telling you, seen it, stay away from it. If mm-hmm. you've seen the original, stay away from it. If you haven't seen it, I give it a matinee. Mm-hmm. There's a lot a lot of things in here that, in Spike Lee fashion, he could have done. He either could have done better or he could have left out. I think. I don't think Spike Lee was ever great with actors. I thought every time he had a great actor, they were great actors who brought something to it. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's good directing with actors myself. Mm-hmm. That's just me. Thank you and, for being honest. And I'm just being honest. <laughs> Is he in the room right now? Yeah. <laughs> Do anybody know Spike Lee? Don't yeah. tell him. But, uh, and there's other things that he does that I see in every movie that I'm, you say, you know, you can say it's your trademark, but come on, man. You did it. You've done it in every movie. You can let it go now. He's got that Spike Lee tracking shot. Oh, yeah. You know, where it looks like a person's <laughs> floating down sure, the street. Yeah. It's a front shot and it just floats. <laughs> yeah. and, it, and in this one, sometimes it works because it's, it's usually been a character who's been uh-huh. confused or contemplative. Mm-hmm. Josh Brolin, when he has, he's like, well, what the fuck? You know, he's like, <laughs> like he doesn't know that he's being carried by something. Yeah, like, yeah, why am I floating? Who's carrying yeah, me? Yeah. You know? Nobody cares about the MTV age of cinema. <laughs> no, you know, it, it, it's, it's a disruption now. Yeah. Like, I know that's a Spike Lee thing. Again, mm-hmm. maybe if you don't know Spike Lee, it's not going to bother you, but I know Spike Lee's work and I don't like it. And I'm mm-hmm. just tired of it, man. Leave yeah. it alone. But, but I still think it's a, it's a bold movie for Spike Lee, man. And I, and yeah, I, I, I recommend it to those who don't know anything about it. I, I I commend any director who's willing to step outside of what they normally do and try something different. And I think su- this succeeds more than it does not. I think, like, I, I, I agree with almost just about I, – actually, I agree with everything you said. Well, thank you, old boy. Uh, and, and it's one of those things where, yeah, if you've seen the original and you love that movie – well, you're going to go into this with an attitude. You're just going to be like, you're going to sit there compare it right. the time. God damn. Yeah, yeah, that you would. You. That means, that means, <laughs> that, that means you. Even, what the hell? But if you're not in love with the original or you haven't seen it, this is definitely worth checking out because there's so many things about it uh, that, that do work. And also, with uh, you know, there's that, that language barrier. Like You watch the Korean movie and it's subtitled. There's a lot of things. You don't know if they're good. You don't speak Korean. You just you just kind of assume. You you go like, well, I'm sure that works in their culture, so I, I can let it slide. You see it in America, you're like, oh, come on, that's 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 not real. Uh, but but I thought for me the the ending had more impact. Uh, watching oh, wow. this time, I and ma- matter of fact, it get, left me with that feeling I had uh, with that uh, that Anten- Antonio Banderas movie where he was that that uh, that uh, that plastic surgeon who. Uh, Make, did a sex change on the guy. You know what I'm talking about? Skin deep or something. Yeah, something oh, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, yeah. that just kind of like. Skin or something. Yeah. It was something like that where you're just kind of like. Ugh, I forget. Oh, I forget. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll get. No, you know what? I will give you that. It's something about saying a fucked up ending like this in English but that he just hits. Because when you say in a foreign language, you can just say, well, that's, that's what those foreign Yeah, that's what they do yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you don't do that here in America. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, they're into that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't like us. They're not civilized. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not perfect. But at the same time, had, had there not been an original movie, uh, had nobody been like, you know, had Spike Lee baggage and you just saw this, you'd be coming out going like, damn, dude, that was intense. I got to th- Hey man, go watch it. You, you you be telling people to go watch it. Well, you guys are making me want to go see it. Just, I mean, but yeah, but you saw the original, whatever. so maybe he, maybe it's not well, for you. Well, you know, but despite that, I'm I'm just I'm just it's more out of curiosity to yeah. see see what he what well, he did. Well, well, like I said, like the for, for me that it, it stuck the ending a little bit better, and uh, yeah, I also give it a mad name. And you know what? When you see it, I don't even want to be around you, man. I know. <laughs> I, don't hear, I don't even want to hear your shit. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I wouldn't expect it. I will be bringing a hammer with me. <laughs> I'm going to bring a hammer. You know what? I'm bringing, I'm bringing a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Cut your ass in half. I feel real bad for that screen. <laughs> <laughs> you going to nail the screen? <laughs> I don't want you to go. You don't have a choice. Whoever you are, I will find you. I only run this place, all right? Shit, you might want to think about what you're doing here. I've been thinking about it for the last 20 years.